Shaber 1000 here. Tonight, we're going to be checking out these two cameras here that I bought at the thrift store. So, let's check them out, see if they work. <laughs> Okay guys, so like I said, I think it was I gave 25 for this one and 15 for this one. We're going to start with this one because it's kind of cool because now I don't use DSLRs, but this is kind of like the predecessor of a DSLR. It's a still image camera, but it uh, it will take video. And if I remember right, it doesn't take very long videos, but um, but I was reading on the back, on the bottom here. I want, you, I want to read this to you real quick. It's kind of funny. All right, it's Kodak, made in China, designed in Japan for Eastman Kodak Company, Rochester, New York. So it was made in China, designed in Japan, and sold here. Okay, but it's kind of cool. I mean, this was a pretty pricey camera in its day. Uh, but uh, the back, I've got I don't have the charger or any of the cables I have I have a charger here that I was trying it out on um, it's it says it takes uh, takes 3 volt DC in I got this little Kyocera um, charger which is a, a 5 volt but it didn't seem to be charging this thing very well now what I did okay it's got these um sorry it's got these two these two rechargeable batteries here okay now these things they will work on a regular battery but one flash if you got your flash on one picture is all you're going to take see when you use these you really wanted a good battery now I do have two of these so I actually have more but I have two right here handy um, just take some memory card right here and that's your AV out which I have I have a uh, uh, a cord for that if I would ever want to use this monkey really likes this camera it's in very good shape um, it's not all beat up it's not all scratched up um, so what we're going to do, I have a memory card over here that is my card, but um, right here, I was getting this ready because I, I thought this case was pretty cool. Um, empty. Yeah, no kidding, right? This is not mine. This came with it, but I didn't check if there was any memory cards in there. But that's pretty cool. You can put your memory cards down in here and zip it up, and it's right... And it's right there on the, on the bag. So the bag is pretty good. It's a Samsonite. And, um, you know, you got storage down in here and here. Um, you got a little storage pocket here. And this is where the camera goes. So it's a pretty nice little bag. Um, so we're going to set this over here out of the way. We're going to start on this. Um, I could probably actually take these apart. And charge them with my charger but anyway I like I said I'm not gonna be using this all the time so let's go ahead and put some we got some batteries in here um, let's see if it works okay let's turn this on to play and there it is it's a uh, Kodak easy share date and time have been reset okay I'm gonna just cancel that I'm not gonna set anything on this right now alright no images in favorite so press review for current images this does have an internal memory so let's see what's on it and it does have something on it it's got a picture of someone's window and it's got a picture of a flower or some kind of plant and that's it so what I'm gonna do well what we'll do is um, we're gonna take this thing 
I'm going to shoot a video clip with it. I'm going to snap a few pictures with it. And um, what we'll do is we'll import it. And I'll show you what the, um, what the pictures look like. This is just an 8 uh, meg card. So, I mean, we're just going to take, you know, just a short video clip. See what... <coughs> now, I did look this up. And this is like a... 600 what what were they 640 or 6 680 so it's not even 720 you know what i mean p um so it's very low quality but at the time you know i mean when you was looking at 320 you know and you jumped up to you know 640 it was like wow you know look at look at how great this you know this camera looks you know and now we're in 4k and going to be getting 5k and stuff out soon so first of all I'm going to turn this on auto. I don't know what the easy share is for. I don't have a book on this. Auto, use for general picture taking. Okay, it's uh, 4.0 MP. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a picture of you guys, okay? Well, I'm just I'm going to take a picture of the camera here. That may be overexposed. It overexposed. Let's take a picture of this camera. All right, so let's... Um, Okay, and there it is. That's pretty cool. Alright, let's see if the zoom works. I know you guys can't see real well, but oh yeah. That's pretty cool. So let's take another picture. Let's zoom in on the air conditioner. And we're gonna take a picture of that. that like I said I'll throw these in in there and now let's uh let's go to it's got all these different settings like for people moving and stuff and then here's like a macro setting this is for close-up so let's see what we can do with a close-up here um, It's very blurry. It's supposed to be for close-ups. There we go. <laughs> I'm not real impressed with it, so I'm not even going to take that picture. So let's go to um, video. Yeah, it's 640. Uh, looks like I got 17 seconds. Okay, so I'm gonna film you guys and well I got a light behind you but all right we are recording so that's pretty cool I'm going I gotta move real slow because I know what these things are like all right and it's only gonna be see it is recording and it's only gonna be uh, 4.3 you know it's not gonna be uh, okay that was it memory card full um okay so you know it's it's not going to be uh 16.9 uh, but i can stretch it which that's probably what we'll do when i when i do this i'll go i'll do one stretched and one without maybe we'll see okay reading memory card There it is. It's working. I, I don't think there's sound on the preview on these ones. Because I don't think these have a speaker in them. They just got a mic. So anyway, it is recording. Alright, so let's stop that. Now, let's turn it off. So that's pretty cool. That's that one. Now, 4.0 megapixels. Mega, it's a five time optic five times optical zoom. I'm sure if I went into the uh, menu, you, you might be able to change a few other things. But there, these were pretty limited on what you could do with them. But like I said at the time, wow, you know, 640. You know, 
that's awesome. Now, let's get to this. This is a Sony. Like I said, I don't know anything about these. <clears throat> it's pretty cool that that works. Um, up to 1,600 shots, up to two and a half hours of battery life. Using a battery <clears throat> NP F550 and flash off. So, you know, it's without the flash. So here's your flash. Um, it's dual media. I've mentioned that before. This actually takes, it takes memory card, okay, one of those weird ones. It does take one of those. That's for still images. I know that because I've had, uh, I've had cameras similar to this, um, that when they were, when they said that, you, you couldn't record, you know, you can't record a video onto that. It's just for still images. This takes a floppy disk. Now, I know this floppy disk don't work because... I tried it out Monkey's computer one time because I got this in with a bunch of stuff I bought one time. I tried it Monkey's computer just to see if there was anything on it and it wouldn't read. So I don't think this is any good, but we can at least see if this thing will spin it up. All right, so let's get a battery. Here's a battery for this. It's, it's the same style as what my light battery is. So. What's cool about it is I can use this charger on here, but I can't use my battery in here. It knows it's not an into info lithium. Okay, so it knows it's not, and it tells you it's not, and it doesn't want you using it. But I had this. I've been. I've had this on for a couple hours, and when you're charging it, it's red, and when it's charged, it turns green. So hopefully, this thing took a charge. Maybe give us long enough time to to check this thing out now I'm not going to be able to film anything with it because um, you know I don't have a I don't have a good disc good floppy disc but we may just have to get out the computer yeah we got AV out so all right we, we can get out the, the computer you also got your electric uh, DC in right there a little port I think I got one of them but anyway let's uh let's see if this works and if it does we'll bring the computer up here and we'll kind of use it like a webcam and we'll use it that way okay so let's go ahead and put this in here how's this go I don't know anything. I've never had one of these I did I do know I did know that they did make them, you know, that ran on these, but I never had one, never knew anyone that did. I guess it was kind of like a flop, but I do remember watching YouTube videos. Um, I think the guy's name is at Tecmo. He's pretty cool. I think he did a video on one and was talking about, you know, these were kind of a flop, you know. I mean, a floppy disk, but that's his joke, not mine. Okay, so what can I tell you about it? I don't know much about it. Um, focus, uh, program display, it's got all this stuff. Uh, you got, so you got still image, you put it there to take a picture, you put it to movie to take a, a video. This turns on and off and charges. Now I don't know about the charging, because like I said, I don't have a cable for it. Well, I may have. Um, I may have one of those cables and that, that would charge that battery, but I didn't look. And this is for your um, USB thing. I may charge through that, I'm not sure. Some of them do, some of them don't. Some of them just uh, file transfer, which is, could be what that what that is. So let's, now let's turn it on. I mean, there's not a lot more to talk about on this. Let's turn it on. Ah! Whoa, cool. Okay, um, it's wanting date and stuff set, but I'm not gonna. Let's just. Okay, let's just get. See, it's saying no disc. That's pretty cool, though. I mean, let's try to zoom it here. Okay, it's, it zooms. Um, I got 88 minutes on the battery. Let's let's go into um, where's menu at on this? Oh, here's the menu. 
white balance exposure and that's pretty much all it gives me on that on camera let's go to setup we want to set up there's beep okay let's take the beep off off clock set whoops LCD bright Oh, okay. There we go. That's pretty cool. Okay, so now let's go to. Okay, it's got video out, blah, 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 off date and time. Alright, so what we're going to do now is. Trying to get it to go to set up here. Camera, file, effect. I don't want to do any of that. So, no disc. Well, let's put this disc in here. Like I said, I know this don't work, but we can actually hear if it is spinning. I'm not sure which way this goes. Oh, look. See, format error. So I knew this, this wasn't any good. Um, so, we're not going to be able to, to record anything, but what we're going to do is we're going to turn this thing up, or hook this thing up to the, um, see there's the, uh, my light, we're going to hook this thing up to the computer, Yeah, so at least I know that works. Let's take this out and let's hook it up to the computer. No disk. And let's see what we can do with it. See, it's 640 in still image movie. It's 320, so that's not going to be very good, is it? <clears throat> All right. So let me go ahead and get this all set up and let's see what this looks like on the computer. First, uh, let's shut it off. That's pretty cool though. All right. All right, I'll be back with you and let me get everything set up here. Okay, guys. So we got this um, hooked up to the computer and we're running CyberLink PowerDirector 15. Well, it's upgraded to 16. But Let's go to settings here. As you can see, it's 320, uh, the camera. And let's see, this is, this is you guys. So we do have it working here. Um, let's see if we can raise that up a little bit. We can, we can go to 720 by 56. So let's try that. <clears throat> and it should come up up here apparently it didn't might be my cord though no it's there uh let's check this again make sure yeah uh 720 by 576 so and then we got the microphone for this now i don't know if the microphone's going to work on this but we'll see i mean i don't know i'll have to let's check this out and see if um We'll see if the, the microphone is going to work for this. Uh, if not, it's no big deal. At least it'll tell us whether this is working or not. It's going to check, check, check. All right. Yeah, see, the microphone in this is not working on here. I'm not sure why. Could be the cables or something. Um, I mean, I... I, I I actually forgot how slow this thing really was so this computer um, but see it says test your microphone so let's change this microphone and it's not giving me the option to change it um, sound control panel we'll see if we can change it there recording uh, let's see. Oh, that's playback. Let's go to recording. Check, check, check. See, this is supposed to be the camera mic. 
doesn't seem to be working. Um, let's try the uh, the mic on the try the mic on here. Let's see if it's check check check. Okay, it's working here. Check check. I don't know why it's not working there, but oh, now I, I should be able to change that. There we go. Check check check. Okay, now this shuts off after a minute. Okay, we'll turn it back on. Now we should be able to get uh, audio out of this. Okay, so we're back on here. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to spin this around. Wow, look how grainy that looks, guys. You see that? That is crazy. And this is why I got a new computer to begin with. This is why my live streams always, always screwed up because of this right here this couldn't handle it so alright let me get this booted back up and then we're going to record ourselves and what I'm going to do is just like the other one I will I will play it un, unedited you know you know what I mean just the raw camera footage and then we'll um, I'll stretch it out and turn it into if I can 1080p but it's definitely going to be 16.9 uh, aspect ratio instead of the 4.3 and we'll go with the highest resolution maybe I'll try to save it in 4k I don't know we'll see what we can do with this old thing it's pretty cool so let me get this booted back up I'll be back with you okay guys so we're all set back up here again um, I thought there was a way I could make this bigger but okay so I'm going to hit record now this should be recording what we're doing right now with this camera so as you can see it's let's uh, zoom in and zoom out as you guys not a whole lot of menu options on this thing I thought maybe we could at least change it from 320, I mean, but apparently we can't, so there it's recording itself. Okay, so now before something happens again, let's go ahead and stop this and we should get our captured content over here. And there it is, right there. Okay, so... go to edit and it brought it up here and there it is okay see I've got this in 16.9 there right right up here at the top I know you probably can't see it but it is in 16.9 let's play this it looks like it's got sound now and it's working should be recording what we're doing right now that's really cool Okay, so that's pretty awesome. Let's uh, let's turn this up a little bit here. This is pretty good software. This uh, I think they got 19 now, but this is 15, which I upgraded to 16. Now this is what I don't like. Uh, some of the cameras you can shut this stuff off of it, where it says all this stuff. But anyway, this editing software is uh, pretty good. Um, but zoom out. But I couldn't find a setting on here where I could turn that off. So, um, but I'm going to look for that. See if there's a setting to shut that display. Well, that's that. Okay. Focus. Cool. Um, LCD backlight. That's that. This is the volume. Um, yeah, I don't. No memory stick. It just doesn't. It doesn't give me the option. Well, you guys. Well, I don't know if. Here, let's let's go back to capture, so you can see what I'm doing over here on the left. Um, I'm going to menu, and it. Let's go to camera. 
settings and all it's got is exposure white balance and then to set up it's got video out language clock set beep and LCD brightness that's all it's got it doesn't have it doesn't have anything else about you know how to turn turn that off and I usually most of them do have that but why this one why I can't get this shut off I don't know see I mean I can uh, I can get that to turn off but I can't get anything else to turn off and and it's just there's no more buttons um, it's just uh, it is what it is so anyway I'm gonna look at it some more and then I'm gonna take that footage and I'm gonna take it in and uh, import it and I'm gonna check it out and then we'll come back with you and let's talk about this thing okay guys so I got this it still says no disc but I mean I got most of the stuff off of it there's just no I mean I, and I don't know how I did it so I can't tell you that if you have one of these um, so let's hit record one more time and we should be recording I guess maybe if I had the uh, the floppy in here it may um, You know, it may go into, it's supposed to shoot in high resolution, but it's only coming up as 320, so. Anyway, see, I'm looking it up right here. And but I guess, I guess my AX53 has me spoiled. So let's stop this. And like I said, all right, now I'm going to go bring it up on my other computer and um, like I said I'll, I'll show you the uh, unedited and then the edited version and then we'll go from there and I'll come back with you and like I said see what you think of it so hang tight guys I'm gonna shut this off and I'll be back with you in a minute Now, this should be recording what we're doing right now with this camera. So as you can see, it's this uh, zoom in and zoom out. As you guys. Not a whole lot of menu options on this thing. I thought maybe we could at least change it from 320. I mean, but apparently we can't. So, there it's recording itself. Okay, so now before something happens again, let's go ahead and stop this and we should get our captured content over time. And we should be recording. I guess maybe if I had the, uh, the floppy in here, it may, um, you know, it may go into, it's supposed to shoot in high resolution, but it's only coming up as 320, so, anyway, see, I'm looking it up right here, and, but I guess, I guess my AX53 
has me spoiled. So let's stop this. Now, this should be recording what we're doing right now with this camera. So as you can see, it's this uh, zoom in and zoom out. As you guys. Not a whole lot of menu options on this thing. I thought maybe we could at least change it from 320. I mean, but apparently we can't. So there it's recording itself. Okay, so now before something happens again, let's go ahead and stop this and we should get our captured content over here. And we should be recording. I guess maybe if I had the uh, the floppy in here it may um, you know it may go into it's supposed to shoot in high resolution but it's only coming up as 320 so anyway see I'm looking it up right here and but I guess I guess my AX-53 has me spoiled. So let's stop this. Okay guys, so there you have it. We have the uh, this little deal here. I don't even know if I told you what it was or not. Um, monkey's over making her and her mom some treats. Uh, did I even tell you what this was? Uh, what is it? It's a coat. It's a Kodak, I didn't tell you that, but it's the Kodak Easy Share Z700. So, it's, it's kind of cool. I like it. I like this too. It's kind of cool. This is the Sony FD Mavica. It is the uh, MVC-FD92. It's amazing how far we've come, isn't it? I mean, sheesh, to go from that to this is... It's amazing, isn't it, huh? Yeah. It's crazy, so... And fast. Really fast. Really yeah, and so, there you have it, guys. There, there's the unedited versions and the edited versions. Um, you know, what do you think? It's just... Uh, I mean, I started... I started my YouTube videos on, you know... 320 or whatever it is and wow it just uh you know to look back at them like my f first couple hundred videos when i had crappy cameras but you know and then to look at them now i mean i know they're still not great but it's not the camera's fault but anyway what do you guys what do you guys think about technology it's it's just crazy you know this is in 4k so you know look at the difference there um, I did edit the edited ones uh, clips that you saw I um, edited in 4k but it wasn't filmed in 4k this is being filmed in 4k so you can see the difference in it so all right guys I'm gonna say Shea Bear to Myth the Man of Legend I'm gone for now we got to get up and go some places huh yeah we're gonna go do our our thing tomorrow yeah, and what's probably gonna show up what our stuff oh uh, our pallets yeah that's all right i'll leave a note on the door <laughs> but anyway guys so uh and it's late what time is it mama 1206 12 and i still have to edit this this is going to take a lot of editing then i gotta get a shower i gotta wash my shirt yeah i know <laughs> Thanks, Mama. All right, so I would put the camera on her, but she's in her 90s, so. Huh? Yeah. So, anyway, guys. But tell them bye. Bye. Thanks for the motor, monkey. Yeah. That boat motor is going to be badass, isn't it? So, anyway. All right, guys, so stick around for more videos. Stay tuned. And Shea Bear and the Myth Man Legend, I'm gone for now, Monk. Monkey says she's out for now. <laughs> All right, thanks for joining me, monkey. Hey, hand me one of them. I want to show them. They've never seen it on mine. Oh, yeah? Yeah. What's it called? 
Oatmeal in a jar. Oatmeal in a jar. There's all kinds of stuff in this thing. There's all fruit. The hair on it. There's oatmeal. And, uh, fruit, oatmeal. What else? Yogurt? Yogurt. Yogurt. Almond milk. She she did a video of this, didn't you? Yep. So check her channel out. She'll show you how to do this. Pretty healthy for you. They love it. And then you freeze it. And you put it in the fridge overnight. Put it in the fridge overnight. And right. you got it for a Thanks, couple of days. And you got it for a couple of days. All right, guys. Again, I got to go for now. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. And thanks for supporting our channel. We appreciate it. We'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye and take care.